All the odds of the end of the Cold War, the death of the Soviet Union, which the F-22 Raptor was designed to handle, the steady decline of the Soviet Union's resulting nations, all the never-ending budgets for the Air Force, the reduction order for the production of the F-22 Raptor for the United States of America Army, the diverse change of governmental administration in the United States of America, and their diverse and contradictory views of the F-22 Raptor fighter. The legendary F-22 Super Raptor looks to burst out of the ashes like never before, taking initiative in warfare again. The first class heavyweight fighter was first built in the year 1997 at the cost of around $335 million. It was crafted with the key words of maximum air dominance, emphasizing maneuverability, cruise functionality, and sensor fusion all in one work of art that inspired brilliance in the art of war. As though all this was not enough to utterly defy air warfare at the turn of the century, this crafty piece of workmanship also excelled at stealth. Specific technological engineering was applied to the wings of the F-22 Raptor to align them seamlessly with the horizontal stabilizer. It was built even to evade the view of the naked eye while in flight. It is built to have reduced radio emissions, radar signature, infrared signature, and even acoustic signature. It basically became nearly invisible compared to all the other Air Force jets at the time. All these well thought out engineering technological builds properly handled the outside cockpit situation. The engineers did not leave the pilot in the cockpit without aid in effectively managing this beast as the enemy dealt her heavy blows. With an enhanced integrated avionics system combined with data from the plane's radar system, situational awareness is almost at its peak for the plane's pilot. This massive boost in the plane's flight system sees more and more options added to the control sphere of the pilot as he deals with the maraud of issues arising in the complex space available on the battlefield of military exercises in the ever complex and intriguing theater of modern warfare. At the time, the United States of America believed that this engineering marvel was required to combat the then-expanding Soviet threat. This belief was heavily backed up with action by the United States of America's military brass, with a budget of $26.2 billion specifically addressed to the production of the F-22 Raptor fighter jet planes. With an allocation of $35 million for each plane produced, the order for 750 planes was made. Later on, during the George H.W. Bush administration, after the end of the Cold War, that order was trimmed to 648 aircraft in 1990. That was not all. By 1997, the order had dropped to 339 planes, 277 by 2003, and by 2009, they had been further cut to 187 F-22 Raptor planes. This saw the end of production of this fifth generation's masterpiece of absolute air dominance. With the role of air superiority fighter as its tag, the F-22 has more than proven its combat effectiveness as a fifth generation aircraft. Although not deployed in the wars of Iraq and Afghanistan, the F-22 Raptor has an unbelievable 29 air-to-air -air kills and zero losses in air combat. Air Force leadership sees that this masterpiece has a complete package with the ability to meet the nation's expectations of total control of the air in case of armed conflict with the involvement of the United States of America's Army. The F-22 Raptor is capable of performing air-to-air -air and also air-to-ground missions effectively. Equipped with highly sophisticated sensor suits that assist the pilot in identifying, tracking, shooting, and then killing air-to-air -air threats without the plane being detected. Dwelling on its air-to-surface ability, the F-22 Raptor is uniquely configured to carry a payload of two GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Munitions of about 1,000 pounds internally. The F-22 Raptor has a distinct engineering emphasis on maximizing its stealth capabilities, allowing it to deal damage to enemy ground and air forces while protecting American assets on the battlefield. With some of the best engine engineering designs among fighter jets, the F-22 Raptor can produce a lot of thrust. This immense thrust, combined with aerodynamic external features of the F-22 Raptor, allows it to cruise at a supersonic speed of well over Mach 1.5. All this without using afterburners. The superb combination of supersonic speed and high-level maneuverability, while maintaining optimal stealth, helps the aircraft to achieve near invisibility in the tactical space, enabling the F-22 Raptor to engage enemy units both in the air and on the ground while evading enemy fire engagement. This is a massive tactical advantage in the theater of warfare. A real testament to its tag of absolute air dominance. You have to accept, in all honesty, that the contractors Lockheed Martin and Boeing really did a fine job in the creation of the first fifth-generation aircraft 
that could go forward to possibly dominate the space of even some sixth generation air warfare machinery. They're responsible for building a beast and a major tyrant in the battle among nations for dominance in the air in an ever-changing theater of modern war. She was not just built to install chill into the enemy's heart, but also to be ever evasive, elusive, dynamic, and near invisible fighter jet for the United States of America Army. Anyone would be a hell of a lot more confident if they had a couple of those birds safeguarding the space above and beyond them as they plunge into battle anywhere. And now, for the big one. With the fresh addition of a whopping almost $11 billion investment into the budget for the upgrades of this beast of a plane, you can already imagine the scrawl on the faces of the Chinese and Russian military brass as a further improved F-22 Raptor with insanely intense capabilities would most likely constitute a real problem in the tactical plans of their forces in planning for an imaginary fall of the United States of America. It is now fair to say that the already existent battle capabilities of the F-22 Raptor are not and will not be sufficient for the battles of the times to come. This is practically a given as jets by China, Russia, and India are being built to heavily contest the place of absolute air dominance that the F-22 Raptor has had for so many years now. This lapse in ability has further propelled the decision to equip the F-22 Raptor with some upgrades that could see her continued air dominance by virtue of engineering advancements. However, arguably the F-22 Raptor, as it is not and will not be enough to protect and assist U.S. allies such as the Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan against an ever-increasing aggressive threat. With upgrades focusing on integrating a long-range search and tracking infrared sensor system, battle identification of threats, unmanned and manned teaming, optimized intercept algorithms, cyber invasion of the jet identification system, and prompt prevention, among so many others. All of this in the table, the Air Force has clearly stated that it does not want to continue fielding the F-22 Raptor until after 2030, but will continue to upgrade the small fleet of available F-22 Raptor jets against ever-increasing threats of modern warfare until the next generation of United States of America Air Dominance Combat Fleet is fielded. The raft of combat upgrades for the F-22 Raptor at Hill Air Force Base, Utah, interestingly also include a massive boost to the already long service life of the F-22 Raptor. The fighter jet already had a service life of around 8,000 hours to begin with, but the company has now added another 8,000 hours to all available F-22 Raptor jets in its fleet. The work done on these jets to increase their service life involved passing them through six unique maintenance machines for structural repair, modification, coating restoration, and aircraft damage repair. This is according to the United States Air Force, and should see the increase in the service life of these excellent pieces of fifth generation military air hardware by another 8,000 hours. All this should see the increased battle readiness of the F-22 Raptor against all the threats of modern warfare soon. A massive deterrent against its Chinese, Russian, and Indian counterparts. This bolstered further by the restricted sale or sharing of F-22 Raptor jets or their technology on the global stage, including with U.S. allies. A closely guarded secret of one of the most dominant fighter planes in air-to-surface warfare history. It is unknown what sort of modern improvements the mostly unknown fighter machines of the sixth generation will be equipped with. So, what do you think could be the possible areas of fighter jet engineering advancements where the F-22 Raptor could see other new and improving fighter jets give it a run for its money?